Hello everyone. Welcome to MS APT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to configure Windows Defender Credential Guard using account protection policy in Microsoft Intune. The Windows Defender Credential Guard is a feature to protect NTLM, Kerberos and sign-on credentials. It uses virtualization based security to containerize the LSA access authentication process. It protects credentials from malicious tools which gain system context access. A well-known tool to accomplish extraction of credentials in system context is Mimikads. This will not work after enabling Windows Defender Credential Guard. The configuration of Credential Guard can actually be performed via different profiles. One being an device configuration profile for endpoint protection and another one being an account protection profile. Account protection policies help protect user credential by using technology such as Windows Hello for Business and Credential Guard. It is the latest configuration option and also the most logical configuration option for security related configurations. This profile type is a part of the account protection section in the endpoint security node and contains the required credential guard settings. First, sign in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a global administrator or an Intune service administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com. On home page, click on Endpoint Security. Under Manage, click on Account Protection. To create a new policy, click on Create Policy plus icon. Select Windows 10 and later Platform. Click on drop down arrow and select Account Protection Profile. At the time of this video recording, it is in public preview mode. Click on Create to continue. Provide a meaningful name for this profile. We have given name Test Configure Windows Defender Credential Guard. We have also added a description. This account protection policy will configure Windows Defender Credential Guard on targeted Windows devices. Click on Next. On the Configuration Settings page, provide the required configuration for the settings. Windows Hello for Business is an alternative method for signing into Windows by replacing passwords, smart cards, and virtual smart cards. If you want, we can block Windows Hello for Business from here. If you enable this policy setting, the device does not provision Windows Hello for Business for any user. Leave not configured selected to make sure that this policy will not affect the current Windows Hello for Business configuration. We can configure this setting to enable Windows Hello security key as a logon credential for all devices in the tenant. We will keep not configured selected for this policy as well. Next, we have credential guard setting. Let me click on this drop down arrow to see the options. Setting this to disable will disable the use of credential guard. Setting this to enable with UEFI will enable credential guard and not allow to be disabled remotely as the UEFI persisted configuration must be manually cleared. Setting this to enable without UEFI lock will enable credential guard and allow it to be turned off without physical access to the machine. Credential guard usage Windows hypervisor to provide protections which requires secure boot and DMA protections to function which also require hardware support. This setting will only successfully enable if the hardware requirements are met. Here we will select Enable with UEFI lock 
to make sure that credential guard will be enabled and can't be disabled remotely. Let me select enable with UEFI. Click on next. Optionally, we can add a scope tag. Here, we will go with default tag. Click next. In the assignment page, click on add groups. We have created one device group named lab client 03. We will use that group to target a Windows 10 test device. From the list, select lab client 03. Click on select and click on next. Review your selection and when you are ready, click on create button to create the account protection policy. Click on create and wait for the confirmation message. We can see the confirmation message, policy created successfully. The account protection policy has been created successfully and assigned to our test group lab client 03. Now to test the result, go back to our Windows 10 test device. First, we will perform the manual sync with Intune. Let me click on sync. Okay, last sync was successful. Let's restart this Windows 10 device. After restart, sign in again to this Windows 10 device. There are many locations to verify a successful configuration of Windows Defender Credential Guard. In this video, we will confirm it using RagEdit. Open RagEdit. Click on Yes. Click on HK Local Machine. Click on Software. Click on Policies. Click on Microsoft. And click on Windows. There will be a key named Device Guard. We can see the required registry values in Device Guard Policy Key. However, at this moment, we can only see the LSS CFG Flags key is configured as per the R configuration profile. That means Windows Defender Credential Guard is successfully enabled on this Windows 10 device. We also want to confirm it from Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. But before we do that, let me initiate the manual synchronization with Intune. Click on Info and click on Sync. We are performing the manual synchronization with Intune so we can see the updated information in Intune portal. Okay, last sync was successful. Now let's go back to Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. First of all, I'm going to click on Refresh. Click on a policy name. Succeeded for one device. Let me click on it. We can see a device name is there. labwin 10 cli 3 And assignment status is succeeded. Here, we can also see the timestamp information. On the monitor, click on Device Status. LabWin10 happens CLI03. This is the username and assignment status is succeeded. Click on Per Setting Status. We can see the status of Turn On Credential Guard setting. Succeeded for one device. That means we have successfully enabled Windows Defender Credential Guard on our test Windows 10 device. That's all for this video on how to configure Windows Defender Credential Guard using account protection policy in Microsoft Intune. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.